I'm Tier of the Year Award, and we have the namesake himself, Sean Flanders, here to help me hand that out. Sean, come on up. <laughs> there he is. Most of the people who play IG events certainly know Sean. He's been hanging around us for almost a decade now. Um, feels a lot like a staff member in the summertime because he's at virtually every single event. And I always say this, but he, you know, was. It became obvious when he was going to win the Volunteer of the Year Award every year. We just named it after him. That way we could give it to some other people. <laughs> and that other person tonight is uh, the most well-known starter on the PGA Champions Tour, Cleo Brown. Perhaps to a few in this room, Cleo is best known as the father of John and Jim Brown. And while I have known Cleo for quite some time, it was John who came to me a few years ago and said, you know, I think my dad might be interested in coming out and like helping you guys. And of course, we need volunteers all the time at our events, and knowing Cleo's experience as a starter and what he's done with the Champions Tour, we jumped at that opportunity. Cleo's been the first tea starter at the Principal Charity Classic ever since its inception in 2001. The tournament's changed venues a few times, it's changed sponsorships, but Cleo's been the one constant. If you have a chance, I encourage you to read the recent article that was written by Mark Gambiana on our website outlining Cleo's career as a starter at the Champions Tour event. If you do, you'll get a sense of how all of the household names that play that tour uh, know Cleo by name and have gotten to uh, talk to him every single time they play that event. As I said earlier, we were able to recruit him to help us some IGA championships. He mostly sticks to the Des Moines area events. He likes to sleep in his own bed, and I appreciate that. Uh, but to give you an idea of what Cleo's done for us this year, he helped out at five different championships, which accounted for more than a dozen days of, of his time. That included four straight days at the IGA match play, held at Talons Golf and Ankeny, which this year we had three different rain delays, or maybe more than that, but it spanned three of the days. And included maybe the most marathon day for a starter we have on our calendar, and that's the first day of match play. And to give you an idea what we do there, it's everybody starts off the first tee. We have 32 men's matches that start, then we tee off eight women's matches, and then we have 16 more uh, men's round two matches that go, and Cleo started all of those. I think he was there probably by 6 a.m., and I think he left about 6 p.m. that night. I'm 44 years old, that's hard enough for me. Um, Cleo's a couple years older than me, uh, so I can imagine what it was like for him, but he, he was there smiling the whole way. So Cleo, thanks for your many hours of service to the IGA, but also the Principal Charity Classic. Um, to take a quote from you in that article that Mark did, you said, quote, each year I think this might be it, but each year I keep coming back. So Carly, let's get in the schedule for next year so that we get him back. But Cleo, congratulations and thank you for everything you've done this year. I am just the old starter. <laughs> I was, a, as Chad said, I started at the inception of the Principal Charity Classic, and this, if the good Lord's willing, and the creek don't rise, this will be my 24th year as the Principal Charity Classic starter. As Chad said that uh, Mark wrote in the article, I give up golf playing. Well, not really. I hope you can get back sometime. But uh, when you're 88 years old, uh, the shadows start to get shorter and the courses get longer. <laughs> and I'm honored to accept this award the Sean Flanders Volunteer Award from the IGA. And as Sean said earlier, I think they brought this award in for the two oldest guys. <laughs> but Sean does a good job with the IGA also, and Chad and his staff make my job very easy. They present me with a starting sheet, and I do my thing, and hopefully it makes their job easier. And Sean does his thing because he always brings me a chair to a seat that I can sit on between announcing the two uh, the foursome. So uh, I appreciate that, Sean, very much. I'm honored to accept this and humbled uh, 
at the thought that uh, I'm being honored uh, to uh, for something that is a big, big part of the Brown family and uh, to be honored for something that I enjoy doing. And it's also a lot of fun to keep involved, to see, I used to say old friends, but friends and people that I've been associated with for years. And uh, as Chad said earlier, I introduce myself to each foursome before they, I tee them off and I say, hi, I'm Cleo Bryan, I'll be your starter. And a lot of the people do not know me or recognize me or probably know me. And they look like a deer in the headlights at me. And then as soon as I mention I'm Jim Brown's and John Brown's father, oh, I know them. <laughs> so it makes my job very easy. But the people that make my jobs easiest is the IGA and Chad and his staff because they provide me with everything that I need and they make my job easy. And at 88 years old, uh, yeah, Carly, uh, give me that list. I hope we can go on for several more years and continue to uh, to be your starter. Thank you very much. Enjoy the meeting.